Children's Worship. Hi everyone and welcome to Children's Worship here at Mission Video Church of Christ. I am excited to be worshiping with you today and Dad, will you lead us in a word of prayer? I will. We know times are tough. We know it's taking a lot of patience to help your children in school. We know these are scary times. But as Christian parents, we also know that there's nothing more important than helping our children grow in faith. And that's what we want to be able to do with this. Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you, to see you high. The memory verse for today is Z, which is Zion, Hears and Rejoices, Psalms chapter 97, verse 8. You're also going to see different children participate in children's worship. That's how we like to do it here. Today's scripture is Philippians 4 verses through 11 to 13. Philippians 4.4 4. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. This verse means when times get tough, there's always something to be joyful for. The verse we'll be reading today is Psalm 91.4. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his rings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. What does that mean to you, Presley? Like a bird protects its young with its wings, God will protect us. He'll keep us safe. Blessed be the Lord, a mighty fortress. Blessed be the Lord, my soul and shield. Blessed be the Lord, who reigns victorious. Blessed be, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the mighty fortress. Blessed be the Lord, my soul and shield. Blessed be the Lord, who reigns victorious. Blessed be, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be, blessed be the name of the Lord. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord, your God. It's like a raging sea, your grace runs down to me. And now I walk in victory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Joshua was tasked with leading the people into the promised land. And he was going to have to con conquer some tough cities to do that. One was Jericho. And they were to march around the wall, and then when they were finished, they were to play their trumpets. And on the seventh day, they marched around the wall seven times. Again, they weren't acting like they were threatening. Then they all started screaming and yelling. So scream and yell. You should always use God's name with love and respect while you're praying and while you're talking to God. What you should not use God's name for is saying things that are disrespectful and can actually hurt others. You can use God's name when you're praying or at the Bible. Brinley, do you know what a pinky promise is? Yes. Yes, can you show me what a pinky promise is? You listen to your pinky promise and don't break it. We don't break it, that's right. We make a commitment and we don't break it. It is important to always tell the truth. God knows if you are telling the truth or not, and it's the right thing to do. Be happy with what you have and don't wish for other people's things. Jesus wanted to set the example. He wanted to be baptized. So Tyler, you've been baptized. What does being baptized mean to you? So it means when you get buried into the water and you come back up, you're in a new body and you become a Christian. It's like being born again, right? So Jesus wanted us all to see that it's very important to be baptized. Where you go into the water, you've all seen it in church, right? You go underneath the water, you're being buried, you're, you're dead to your old self, and you come out anew as a new Christian. You know, there's so many things to be thankful for, but one thing you're probably going to find is it's easier to be thankful when things are going great. Maybe you get a new puppy, maybe you get good grades, maybe your parents buy you some really cool toys. It's really important to remember, we have to be thankful when things aren't going very well. Let's pray. Please bow with me in prayer. We thank you for this day today and hope that we can all be safe and healthy. And make sure everyone never gets the coronavirus. Please be with our country, keep us safe, and let us always look to you for guidance. Please bless us as we can be loyal to your word. In Jesus' name we send the prayer. Amen. Have a good week. Father, we thank you this day. Thank you for the many blessings you've given us. Please help us apply Jesus' lessons to us today and the future so that way we can become awesome human beings and good disciples in the future. May you see us in the prayer. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> okay, so we're time for a quick recap. 
um, because we are well on our way into this series, following in the footsteps of Jesus. Uh, we've done quite a bit, and today's a really special day because we are going to be having family worship um, during our regular worship service. So we're actually going to be bringing a piece of our lesson um, into the main worship service. So be sure to stick around for that um, in just a few minutes when it gets started. So as a quick recap for where we've been so far, uh, in week number one, we started with uh, the birth of Jesus. Then we moved into week two, which was what, Tyler? Um, it was when he was baptized. That's right. <laughs> it was him showing us by example how, I, how important it is um, to be baptized. In week number three, we actually went on a bit of a journey through the wilderness where he was tempted um, by Satan. But then we spent time talking about one of his very first miracles, uh, turning the water into wine. So that was a really special one. And then in week four, we learned about what? We learned about the Sea of Galilee. <laughs> yes, we learned and we sang all about the Sea of Galilee um, as just one of the stories in how uh, Jesus gathered um, the disciples, the 12 disciples. And then for the last two weeks, weeks five and six, we talked about the Sermon on the Mount. And we, we talked about how this was the one of the, I guess it's the longest sermon uh, that uh, Jesus shared with, with everyone. And there was a lot of information in it about how we are to live our lives and what he would like to see us do. And um, way too much to cover here. So we invited you to uh, make sure you spend some time in the Word with your families, uh, learning about what, what was all inside that amazing Sermon on the Mount. So, before we learn a little bit about what we're going to talk about today, we're going to do some singing. Take it away, Miss Jessica. All right. I promised you a few months ago that I would teach you a song in English, and after you learned it, we would learn it in Hungarian. And that song was From the Rising of the Sun, which I learned when I was a little girl from my cousins who were working in Hungary. You ready to teach it, Aiden? Yes. Okay. On a tattoo. Még lesz áll az ég a jön, a Jézus nem végtét sem repény. A nap felkelte túl, míg lesz áll az ég a jön, a Jézus nem végtét sem repény. Good job. All right, we are going to sing The Wise Man Built His House Upon a Rock. And in order to sing that, we need to know what hand gestures to do, right? So, Aiden, how do we build? What are we building, Austin? A house. A house. And uh, what about rain, Aiden? How do we make rain? And Austin, what happens when it rains? And the floods, the come, floods up. come up. And we also know about what comes down from heaven when we pray. Blessings. Blessings come down and prayers go up, up, right? Okay, so ready to sing? Okay. The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock, and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up, and the wise man's house stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the foolish man's house went smash! So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. 
So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ and the blessings will come down. The blessings will come down as the prayers go up. The blessings will come down as the prayers go up. The blessings will come down as the prayers go up. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. alleluia. Make it pure and holy thine You will wash away my sin Let your little child come in Alleluia, alleluia Welcome back. Alleluia. Okay, so here we are. We are at week seven and we are turning a little corner on our map and we're going to spend um, a little bit of time talking about how Jesus was a teacher. So our lesson for today is around Jesus the teacher, and we invite you to stick around because for our family worship, Mr. Glenn is gonna talk all about this and is gonna share some great stories. So one of the ways that Jesus teaches is through storytelling. How many of you like to hear stories? I love to hear stories, I think they're the best. Um, and what's neat about stories is you can listen to the characters, you can listen about to uh, the, about the setting, you can learn all different parts of the stories and start to think about maybe what those might be like in your life and apply some of the things that you're hearing in the stories um, that are coming to life truly from the Bible um, and, and think about how you can learn the lessons um, from those stories. And that's exactly what Jesus does. And a fancy word for stories, um, which you may have heard before, is called parable. And so when you hear about the parables of Jesus, you're hearing about the stories that he told. And he used um, a lot of those stories to really illustrate um, what we should be doing and maybe what we should not be doing. Um, so it's a really important part of how he teaches. And that's really what we're going to focus on for the next few weeks um, as part of our journey in following the footsteps of Jesus. So the icon for today is actually depicting um, one of the stories that Mr. Glenn is going to be talking about, which is about the calming of the sea. I won't give away any of the surprises um, that he's going to share, um, but it is a really neat story and there's a lot more to come. All right, Tyler, do you want to um, take us out in a closing prayer? Yes, please bow your heads in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, everything of this day, thank you for the many blessings you've given us. Please have a good week with our sins befalling and our virtues be climbing. In Jesus' name we send the prayer. Amen. Amen.